From her, you bitch! Hey, what's up, you guys? Shardimus Prime here, doing another Marvel Legends figure review on the Marvel Unlimited subscription exclusive Pepper Potts Rescue Armor action figure. I gotta give a big thanks to Alfonso for making this review happen and letting me borrow his figure. I do have a Marvel Unlimited subscription at the moment, but it hasn't been renewed yet, so when I renew it, I'll be getting my own Pepper Potts. Now, this figure was originally supposed to come out in an Iron Man 3 wave along with the Mandarin slash Trevor figure that we never got, so we're getting this version over here unfortunately it does not come with a pepper pots head sculpt which is a bit disappointing it looked pretty good as you can see in this image right over here I thought that was gonna be a pretty cool figure to have so it does look pretty good without the head sculpt but having the interchangeable pepper pots head would have been nice I'll do some head swaps later on in this video but yeah let's take a closer look at this figure now I really like this brand new helmet sculpt that we're getting for the pepper pots rescue armor I think it looks really good unfortunately the silver paint looks like it gets a little shaky right towards the center over there for the most part, I think the paint looks really nice with that orange and yellow right there for the eye sections. Looking on the side right here, we get some more detailed sculpt. And she does have that little black paint right there for her little mouth. Anyway, coming right back over here, you can see that the plastic does have a little bit of that glittery, reflective look to it, which I like. I think it's very appropriate for any kind of Iron Man armor. And looking on the back right here, I really like these boosters that you get on the back. I think that looks really good. Nice orange paint right in there, so it looks pretty nice. I sculpt the detail. She has these cool shoulder pads over here. You can definitely see a little bit of that marbling effect going on in the silver part right there on the bicep. Then looking on her left hand, you can see that looks pretty good. And her repulsors are colored in orange as well. On the right side, she has a fist. I don't know if these hands were used from the Extremist Armor Iron Man or not. I can't tell. Same thing with these arms. I think they are. I'll have to bring that for a comparison. We'll see in a second. Looking at the abs right over here. Looks pretty good. I like how it's a very effeminate sculpt. Now we do get a tiny little bit of that marbleized look that we had gotten from the Ironmonger, but only a little bit right up here, and then I could see it just a tad right up over there, but it's pretty subtle. And these do look like hearts, isn't that kind of funny? She's got her, you know, armor chichas and everything. Got to armor those up, and same thing with the armored nalgas. Nicely armored nalgas, not too bad at all. Same thing with the spine, I really like the details right there in the spine. Now looking at these legs, these are straight from the Extremist Armor Iron Man, so yeah, nice legs Tony. Getting real nice silver paint apps right over here, I dig it. I'm really glad that they added the peg holes at the bottom of the feet, we did not get that on the Extremist Iron Man feet, and you can plug in some effects right there to those peg holes, so I think that's awesome. Now going back to this head sculpt, you can pop this off still, yep, and you can see right there. So I did try a bunch of different female head sculpts on this, and none of them really seemed to work too well, because because this neck is so long, but the one I think that works the best is the short haircut Black Widow from the two pack. Now the articulation on this figure is okay, luckily she can look up very far and I really like that a lot. Her head can move down quite a bit as well, you do get side to side movement over here, it does kind of have an angle to it though when you turn it to the side, but it's not too bad. She does have these shoulder pads that do move up and down, which I think is great. Her shoulders can move outward, though it's starting to pop off, let's see, okay without it popping off her arms can move outward that much and they can move forward, get a bicep swivel, double jointed elbows right there, and I really like the use of the gray plastic right there for that part of the joint for the pin. I think that's really smart instead of having just a random red dot in there. Anyway, you get the swivel right here at the wrist and they hinge up and down. You get a diaphragm joint that rotates side to side, kind of like that head joint. It kind of turns side to side at a little bit of an angle. It's a little bit weird. She does crunch forward, she does crunch back, which is great. Not much of a pivot at all over there. Her legs can move outward like that, which is great, but unfortunately, Unfortunately, she cannot kick forward at all whatsoever, and I tried rotating this around and then tried moving it forward, but I'm afraid I'm going to break it and I'm not going to keep trying. So anyway, it does have a thigh swivel above the knee and then the double jointed knees right in there. And then the ankles do move down, they do move up, they rotate side to side and no ankle pivot. Then here's our rescue armor pepper pots next to the extremist armor Iron Man and you can see they're standing at the same exact height. Uh, this guy is just a little bit too short. But anyway, the legs are exactly the same, obviously. And then from the elbows down, they're exactly the same as they are on the extremist armor Iron Man. And then here's the rescue armor 
armor next to the MCU's Mark 42 Iron Man, and you actually see Pepper Potts do some rescuing while wearing this armor. Then to compare this figure to another female figure without any armor on, here she is next to the Moonstone figure, and you can see that they stand at exactly the same height. Now, if anything, maybe this one's just a tad bit shorter, so I guess maybe she could have been a little bit taller. And then here she is next to the Marvel Legends Big Time Letdown Spider-Man. Okay, I know this is kind of a weird question. Uh, could you give me a ride? Ooh, yay! Whee! Oh, we're going really high now. So I am bummed out that we did not get the Pepper Potts head sculpt with this figure. That is a big disappointment. I'm also bummed out about the legs not being able to move forward. But I will say I am more impressed with this female body armor than I was expecting to be. I think it does look very cool. So for the most part, I really do like the figure. You do have to get the Marvel Unlimited subscription to get this, which isn't a disappointment for me because I like having my Marvel Unlimited subscription. I like going back and reading those back issues that I had missed. Anyway, I hope you guys liked my review. If you did, please hit the like button. Click any of these boxes right over here if you want more shirts in your face. If you're age of 18 years or older, please check out the Patreon account. Also, follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, and go to MarvelousNews.com for a photo gallery of images from this review. I'll catch you guys later. Peace! Elbows down, they are exactly the same. Damn it.